Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Kabaku and welcome to ALB, the place to trade. In the first segment of our daily brief for Tuesday, the 10th of December 2019, you've seen Asian equity markets ease slightly on Tuesday, tracking Wall Street's decline as in investors fretted over the 15th of December deadline for the next round of US tariffs on Chinese imports taking effect. Adding pressure in China was new data showing falling producer prices in November while consumer prices spiked, complicating efforts to boost demand as economic growth slows. The MSCI Brothers Index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan was 0.17% lower, the Nikkei was down 0.08%, the Eurostox 50 lower by 0.03%, the DAX down by 0.14%, the S&P declined by 0.32%, whilst the FTSE 100 added 0.1%. The deadline looms over a series of other significant events this week, with markets also awaiting the UK elections on Thursday and the US and, and Eurozone central bank meetings. Investors were also keeping an eye on the US Federal Reserve for hints on future economic growth, even though it is expected to keep rates unchanged at its two-day policy meeting, which ends on Wednesday. Investors will also be scrutinizing the first policy meeting, led by new ECB President Christine Lagarde on Thursday, for clues on where she will take the bank. In the second segment, we shift our attention to the UK, where although the expectation of a Conservative Party victory on Thursday's UK election have powered a rally in the pound, option markets indicate worries of a post-election retreat. The sterling, which hit its highest level against the dollar since April on Monday at 131.80, added 0.08% to trade at 131, 1.3153. In, in the third segment, we shift our, our attention to the energy markets where worries over trade continue to push oil prices lower. Data released on Sunday show that Chinese exports declined for a fourth straight month, underscoring the impact of the trade war between the US and China, which is in its 17th month. The data released offset the surge we saw in oil prices last week when OPEC and its allies agreed in the meeting in Vienna, in Vienna to reduce output by a total of 2.1 million barrels a day or 2.1% of world supply over the first quarter of 2020. As a result, global benchmark Brent crude fell 0.12% to 64.17 a barrel, whilst US WTI crude dipped 0.15% to $58.93 a barrel. In light of the news we've received thus far for today, the focus will be on the upcoming tariffs um, from the US on the Chinese products uh, for about $156 billion scheduled for the uh, 15th of December 2019. And whether or not this will actually come into effect will depend on the sort of steps being taken uh, to, to either achieve an initial agreement or to then uh, actually impose this, and in, in, and in which case should that should the latter come to fruition, then it is very likely that we will see um, volatility come into the market even more, and in which case we should expect to see the um, the, the, the gold, we see gold prices move higher, and then see a retreat um, in the equity markets, particularly uh, looking at the indices as a result. That will essentially bring us to the end of today's daily brief. Good luck and good trading.